Welcome to the Pumpkin Patch here at Father Beauregard. I'm Craig Momney and welcome to our annual Halloween episode. We have gruesome but delicious Halloween treats. Some kids are carving their way to the spirit of Halloween, but right now, for those of you who didn't believe the apocalypse would happen, you were in down at Birchwood Trails where the dead came back to life. Welcome back to Go. Joining me now is Batgirl, but when she's not fighting crime, it's Emily Mitchell here at Father Beauregard. What's going on here today, Emily? We are doing pumpkin carving. So what is the, uh, why are you guys doing pumpkin carving? Um, exactly? we, we do it every year. We've been doing it, I guess, for about 10 years. And uh, we have kids bring in their own pumpkins and then we give them an opportunity to carve them here at school. We partner older kids and younger kids to make it a little bit easier. Um, and we also are a leader in me school, so we like it when our kids synergize um, and working together. So we see a lot of kids bringing in the temple plates, copying those, and we always have a couple kids who are super creative, have their own ideas. Um, and then afterwards, actually, they take the pumpkins down to our small gym. We have parent volunteers and the staff light the pumpkins up, and then um, the kids get to go in and see all the pumpkins lit up in the dark. It's that's, very cool. That's always the best time. You it can is. see your pumpkins all lit up, see all the work you did. Yeah, and they get to see all the other classes as well, so it's not just their own class, but everyone else. So. Tell me a little bit more about the Leader in Me program. Uh, the well. Leader in Me is a Stephen Covey um, function program. It um, is There's quite a few schools in the district there, but it fosters leadership in kids. It follows the seven habits of highly effective kids and uh, we just teach kids the seven habits things like being proactive making good choices working well with others learning to think win-win working making sure everyone's getting what they need talking learning how to communicate all those kinds of things it's an amazing program now have you been going around checking out the pumpkin see maybe what maybe uh, more creative pumpkin is being curved right now uh, I haven't had a chance but I know I will we always have awesome parent volunteers helping too so that makes a really good one we usually have some cats we have you know skeletons we usually have a couple of characters last year we had a cat in the hat all lots of really great things now I actually brought my own pumpkin I'm you gonna cover it as well we're gonna actually go check out some of the kids and see what they're doing a uh, well you better make sure you use one of the uh, electric tools those I are know. great I usually I only have the manual knife I know so. Back in the day, yeah, right? Right? <laughs> but right now we're going to head over to Westwood where they have some creepy eats for us. Welcome back to Go. We're now going to go check out what the kids are carving and stick around later on. I'll show you what I carved. Let's go. You're a little ninja right now with a little skull bandana. What you carving in your pumpkin? An alien. An alien. That's a pretty cool pumpkin. How long did that take? Uh, not, too, not too long, eh? Yeah, not too long, but pretty long. What are you guys drawing onto your pumpkin right now? We're drawing a skull with flames on it. And you were talking to me, telling me about you guys can win a contest. What can you win? Uh, pencils and some glow sticks. Pencils and gl glow sticks. Are they orange pencils? Orange pencils, gray pencils, blue pencils, and red pencils. That sounds awesome. I'm here with Isabella now. Isabella, tell me about your pumpkin. Um, well, I decided to do Jack Skellington since I was watching the movie over and over again. And it actually goes kind of with your costume, right? A little bit. Yeah, you're a big fan of the costume? Or a big, uh, of the movie? Um, no, I'm not, actually. I'm not a big fan of the movie. I've got a pumpkin myself. What do you think I should carve? Um, I'm not really sure. Not really sure? Anything scary, maybe? I would do, I would probably, my second choice would probably be the Boogeyman from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And so it matches? Yes. As I promised, I said I was going to carve a pumpkin myself. You guys ready to see my pumpkin? Yeah. Ready? And three, three two, one. Whoa. Oh, what do you guys think? That looks awesome. You guys look? Looks like a skeleton. You guys looking forward to trick or treating? Yeah. Get some candy. You guys gonna be safe? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good job, guys. Yeah, pumpkin, pumpkin goop, pumpkin goop. But that's it for us here on Shaw TV. I'm Craig Momney, and we'll see you later.